Yes, it's a threat. Um, it's not a new threat, it has to be said. It's been around since 1997. But in the last few years, the incidence of transmission from wild birds, which is where it's always found, into domestic poultry has certainly gone up, leading to the uh, mandatory housing order that we've, uh, we've had over the winter in this country. That's only been the case for the last couple of years. Prior to that, we did have outbreaks, but they were rather sporadic. They've now got to a state where right across the winter from the time that um, birds migrate, wild birds migrate, uh, you're seeing a significant amount of uh, avian flu in domestic poultry. Migration routes are now falling and birds are more or less back to where they want to be. Of course, they're there to breed. And so um, birds that use the UK coastline to breed are obviously at risk of contracting avian influenza from other birds that frequent the same sites. Uh, that's something that should be monitored and is monitored. Um, I don't see myself that there's much that can be done to prevent it because we're talking about a wild virus circulating in wild populations, I think we have to take um, some comfort from the fact that they're usually remote locations and the chances of those birds, even if they're infected, coming into contact with people is, is really quite low. So I think the main risk is still for the transmission from wild birds to domestic poultry. So in terms of what's going on with seabirds, it's a, a bit less obvious. And obviously, a lot of the mortality was recorded last summer. So it does question whether they brought the diseases in from um, or brought in by other birds during this time last year, sort of early spring, spring into summer that led to these large outbreaks. And again, we simply don't know. You know we've never really had the level of surveillance in wild birds looking for influenza that we're beginning to adopt at the moment. And I think quite correctly that, you know, we really do need to understand where these viruses are coming from, where they can be carried, where they can be transmitted, because you know, it's it's a risk not just to animals, but as we've discussed, if it becomes a zoonotic strain, it's a risk to all of us. I think the overwinter housing has been absolutely necessary to mis mitigate against risks where this obviously been two years of far higher than normal in avian influenza. But you have to balance this against um, the health and welfare of the birds. You know, most of more than half of our egg production in the UK is free range. These birds are, are not used to being housed indoors 24 seven. Um, Backyarders, hobbyists, again, birds are far more used to being out in the back, running around. So you know, there is a, a degree of considering the sort of health and welfare of the birds themselves. Um, my feeling is we'll be back under another housing order next winter when we get back into influenza season. I think there's a very strong chance, probably a, a better than two thirds chance that we will get outbreaks again next winter and we will be back into the same situation with housing so i think we do have to look longer term of of how we keep chickens and whether we look at some of the 
the higher welfare indoor systems as being perhaps a better answer than 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 looking at more extensive free range systems in in reducing risk 